Good morning, Facebookers. It's 7 07. It's early in the morning. Normally, I would be asleep right about now, still catching some seeds. But the Lord woke me up early this morning. And I had a dream, you know. I dream I was preaching. Press your way through the wilderness. And the Lord laid it on my heart this morning to speak to whoever it is out there that needs this message. Uh, we all, as people of God, had to press our way through our own wilderness. And the reason why we go through wilderness, because some things have to die off. You know, as everybody knows the story of the children of Israel, they was in the wilderness for 40 years. But they was in the wilderness for 40 years for everybody that was not supposed to make it to the promised land should die in the wilderness. And the Lord is saying the reason why some folk are going through the wilderness season in their lives, whoever I'm talking to or speaking to, is some things have to die off before you get to your promised land. And the Lord said either you're going to let them things die off in the wilderness or you're going to die in the wilderness. So you have a choice to make. Let them things die in the wilderness or you die in the wilderness. The choice is yours. For you can't serve two masters. You either love one and hate the other. Shun one and cling to the other. But you can't serve two people at one time. It's impossible. Understand, you know, some folk, you know, you like what you're doing. You love what you're doing. Even them secret things that you're doing. God said, I see you. I see you. And payday is coming after a while. Either you let them things die or you die. I don't care what it is that needs to die in the wilderness, but you better let it die. Kill it off. No, rather it's getting high, smoking weed, popping pills, snorting coke, shooting dope, smoking wiggles, smoking sherm sticks. You know, whatever it is, cigarettes, coolers, wine, strong alcoholic beverages, lying, cussing, stealing, backbiting, gossiping. Judgmental spirits. You know, all these things have to die off. Rather, you know, you have an addiction of masturbating and everything else and you're addicted to pornography. Or, you know, you, you, you loving the same sex, whatever your issue may be. We all have issues that we are dealing with, but them things have to die off until you make it. You will not make it to your promised land until them things die off. Them things have to die or you're going to die. Don't let them things kill you. You better kill it. The promised land is yours, but you're not going to get there until you get rid of your stuff. Because guess what? You can't take that stuff into your promised land. The reason why you're not being blessed like you want to be blessed is on a simple fact. That stuff is holding up your blessings. It is. So whoever this is, I encourage you. While you're in your wilderness season, you better let everything that's not of God die off. You know, don't be like the children of Israel, the ones that didn't make it to the promised land. And if you look nowadays, we're in the last and evil days. On the simple fact, if you came up when I was coming up in the late 70s, the early, the third, the 80s and the 70s, you know, when they was teaching us when we were younger, in the last and evil days, planes would be falling out the skies, trains would be derailing off the tracks, and it'll be multiple car pileups, mother against daughter, father against son. If you look now, every time you turn on the news, you see the signs of the times. You see the trains derailing off the track. You keep hearing more frequently about planes falling out the sky. Within this last, in this winter alone, you see more than 500 car pileups. If you put them all together, accident after accident, incident after incident. We're in the last and evil days, people. You better wake up. 
Yes, they've been saying Jesus is going to return since he died and he left and went to heaven to prepare a home for us. And yes, he is coming back, whether you believe it or not. And, and those, you know, I don't care what kind of gift you have. You know, gift and talents come without repentance. Because guess what? You can be the gift to sing and go straight to hell. You can be the anointed in this preacher and still go straight to hell. Don't have that Samson anointing. And anybody that knows and read the Bible, they know how Samson, you know, the anointing always fell upon him to do what he needed to do. But he lived any kind of way he wanted to live. And that's the kind of anointing that's out here in our churches nowadays. Folk are preaching up a storm, speaking up a storm, and laying hands on, doing the will of God. But once that anointing leaves, they're not living right to save their lives. They're not living with their preaching. you got to live what you preach. You know, and the only way you're going to stay rooted in the word of God is you got to die to your flesh daily. You know, we got to cut some things off. We got to cut some people off. We got to stop doing some things. Some things that's out in the open and them, especially them hidden things that you don't think, but you and God only knows. But best believe your pastors, they know what you're doing. They just not pointing it out. They praying about it. And that's what a lot of us church folk need to start doing now and praying. Stop talking about one another. Start praying for one another. Stop casting each other down and start lifting each other up. Press through your wilderness. Make it to your promised land. Make it through to promised land. Make it to the promised land. I don't care what you have to do to get there, but get to your promised land. Press through the wilderness, press through the heartache, press through the pain, press through the sickness, press through the aches and pains, press through that disease, because he is a healer. There's nothing too hard for God. And you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. There's only two things that God can't do. Only two. He can't fail. And he cannot lie. Other than that, God can do anything. But them two things. He don't lie. And he can't fail. So, I'm not going to take no more of your time up. Press through your wilderness. You know, lay before God. Start fasting. Reading your word more. Stop being stingy. That's another thing. People of God, you want to get blessed, but you're stingy. You're greedy. You don't want to bless nobody else, but you want to be blessed. But you can't get blessed unless you learn how to bless somebody else. If your hand is closed, there's nothing coming in and there's nothing going out. Press your way through the wilderness. Start fasting more. Praying more. And giving more. The Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. You know. Start giving to the needy. Help the poor. Buy somebody a meal. Feed somebody. And don't boast about it. Do it in secret, because what is done in the secret, God will bless you out in the open. Press your way through the wilderness, saints. It's time to stop playing, church, and get real. I don't know if somebody's going through something right now, because I feel your pain, your hurting. On the inside. 
Mm. God said this too shall pass. Whatever you're going through. It's only a test. And until you pass the test, you're going to continue to go through it. Press your way through the wilderness. Press your way through the wilderness. <laughs>